Hello, everybody. Um, welcome back to Inspired by Jimmy L on the podcast and show. Um, so as you guys know, I fell flat on my face um, within my positivity journey um, after the death of my, my father early this year. And things have been kind of interesting and, and rocky, but I'm glad to say that I'm pushing forward. Um, things are getting better. And um, more importantly, I'm rediscovering what it means to be me. Um, after losing a parent, because it looks drastically different. And so what I've decided to do is to kind of pick my positivity journey back up. And I know to do that, I have to stand strong on my foundation. And my foundation has always been motivational and inspirational videos to kind of help me get through my day, um, to help me deal with challenging people or to make sure that my perspective of those challenging moments is, um, is of a positive one, right? And so um, this week, it's going to be no different. This is a very emotional clip that I, I got. And um, it's from Maya Angelou. It's another clip from YouTube. It's called Maya Angelou, the poem, quote unquote, The Mask. Um, listen to the entire thing. It's only like five minutes long. I'm only going to play two minutes of it, but um, it is really powerful. It is really, really, really powerful. Here it is. For old black men, this is it. When I think about myself, I almost laugh myself to death. My life has been one great big joke. A dance has walked. A song that spoke. I laugh so hard. I nearly choke when I think about myself. See, 70 years in these folks' world, the child I work for calls me girl. And I say, yes, ma'am, for working sake. I'm too proud to bend, too poor to break. I laugh so hard, my stomach ache when I think about myself. My folks have made me split my side. I laughed so hard I nearly died. The tales they tell sound just like lying. They grow the fruit. But either I laughed so hard. I start to cry when I think about myself and the little children. And then we wear the mask. They grins and lies and shades our chips our eyes. This debt we pay to heal and die. With torn and bleeding hearts, we smile. And now, myriad subtleties. Why should the world be overwise in counting all our tears and sighs? They let them only see while we wear the mask. We smile, but oh my God! Our tears to be from tortured souls around. And we sing, well, the clay is vomiting our feet and long the mile. But let the world think otherwise. We wear the mask. My fathers sit on benches. Their flesh count every plank. The slants leave dents of darkness deep in their withered flank, and they knock like broken candles, all waxed and burnt profound. They say, but children, it was our submission that made your world go round. They laughed to shield their crime. They shuffled. Their dreams. They stepped and fetched the country and wrote the blues in screams. I understand their meaning. It could and did derive from living on the ledge of death. They kept my race alive by wearing the mask. <laughs> wearing the mask. <laughs> <Wearing> the... <laughs> oh. Um, first off, I love Maya Angelou, and I know her poem is, um, I know she's talking about the, the Black heritage, but for me personally, it touches me because I think about what we do at our jobs. We wear these masks just to kind of get by. We, um, we fake it, so to speak, knowing that we don't like being there, knowing that we're not being fulfilled, knowing that we're not happy. We do that in relationships. We, sadly, we do that when we're grieving. I remember losing my dad and um, I was overwhelmed with support and love and 
from Facebook and, and Instagram, uh, my family and phone calls and friends. Oh my gosh, it was so overwhelming. I shut my phone off, 100% shut my phone off, which meant that my husband's phone started ringing because uh, people couldn't get a hold of me. But I had to remind him and them eventually that me grieving, me dealing with my positive journey, me living this life is my journey. I don't have to grieve in a particular way. I don't have to wear a mask. I don't have to mask my feelings, my thoughts, or whatever I'm dealing with right now. Damn it, I'm broken. Damn it, I'm upset. Damn it, I'm pissed off. Damn it, I'm frustrated. Damn it, I'm sad. And so kind of going through that and, and, and allowing my emotions to do what they did, it really made me fall flat on my face. And I am so thankful for it. So I want to inspire you to put the mask down if you can. Learn to be who you are. Work your way to get into a position where you no longer have to put on a fake smile. That's whether you're talking to your parents, talking to your kids, or talking to your boss. I truthfully believe in my heart of hearts that when you and I are able to be who we authentically are, that's when the real magic happens. That's the real truth. That's what I really think Maya Angelou is pushing for in regards to us evolving and laying down the mask. They're not necessary anymore. I love you guys as always. <sighs> Till the next one. Peace be unto you. Namaste.